Hey, I'll be cool. Mr. Garcia, what's going on? Yo, what's going on? How's everything going? Great. Listen, take a second, wipe that screen. Damn, Chan, we went, we went for a run? Uh, no, my phone's jacked up. Oh, Damn. man, it's blurry, but it's all good. We're going to make it work. Listen, I'm going to get right into it. We live with Elijah Garcia. Um, I guess the first thing people... You may feel like Hold it's on your a time. minute. I guess the first thing people want to know, uh, why did you pull out of the fight? How sick were you? What was the condition? And, yeah, are you better? Uh, right now, I feel like I'm 100%. Uh, I just got back to training. But, uh, you know, come a couple weeks ago when it was fight week, I had got a little sick, like, you know, Tuesday or so of fight week. And uh, I thought it was just allergies or whatever. So, you know, we didn't think nothing of it. And then uh, Wednesday, I had felt, you know, like my crap, to be honest. And then uh, Thursday was the press conference. And I kind of slept all day until the press conference. And I did feel a little bit better. But, uh, you know... I just rested all day. I didn't work out or nothing. And the Friday morning to cut weight, I'd hopped on that treadmill to run. And I felt great, to be honest. But, uh, you know, once I hopped on that treadmill, I couldn't really breathe. You know what I mean? And uh, I was only at like a mile. And when I run on the treadmill, especially, you know, fight week, I run like six miles easy, no problem. And uh, I only ran one mile and I wasn't feeling too good. And uh, we hopped in that sauna to finish cutting weight. And then... Um, I, I couldn't breathe, so we had to rush over to the urgent care and then uh, a couple of other doctors. But they had um, they had got me with some upper respiratory infection, and then uh, I had some I had a sore throat, was strep throat, I had strep throat, and then I had some blood blisters in my eardrums from all like the congestion. So I was messed up pretty bad, to be honest, but. Um, you know, we'll, we're going to run it back again, June 15th. So how difficult was it for you to make the decision or was it simple because you just physically, you know, you, you were, you were not yourself, but overall you still had to make the decision to take yourself off the card. How, how difficult was that? Uh, to be honest, you know, it was, it was kind of hard because, we put a lot of money into our camps and put a lot of time into our camps and I have a lot of people show up to a lot of my fights. So I definitely did not want to pull out, but at the same time, uh, regardless of what we do, people are going to, you know, like people are going to talk crap regardless. You know what I mean? So it was kind of like, you know, if, if I would have, if I would have fought and lost people would have, and then I come out saying I was sick well, you know, people would have been talking crap about that. And then, you know, people still talk crap that I pulled out that I was sick so you know it I just had to choose my poison and I'm I'm glad I made the right decision so yeah and uh I want to talk about that because you pulled out and uh you had to endure what the public was gonna say about you um in the situation of Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia should Devin have pulled out when Ryan came in over three Point two pounds, and you in those shoes. If Kyron Davis, June fifteenth, comes in three point two pounds over, what are you doing? Um, uh, that's a hard decision to make, to be honest, because you know, three pounds is is kind of a lot. You know what I mean? But me, I don't know. I'd probably still fight him. I just make me want to whoop his ass even worse. You know what I mean? But, uh. I don't know. I think Haney, Haney's kind of small. I mean, Haney's a lot smaller than Ryan Garcia, so I think that makes a big difference. But uh, I, w I would still fight. I would still fight. And how much – okay, so now the fight is off. Now you tell your, your handlers you feel good. Was there any other offers outside of Kyron Davis? No. No. Uh, he was pretty much the the opponent for the most part. So I remember I would got sick and they said, you know, feel better, whatever. And then, uh, you know, June 15th came along. They're like, well, do you want to fight? We said, yeah. And I figured if I don't fight Chiron, then I want to fight Danny Garcia. But 
you know, I I want to give Kyron the opportunity. I mean, I guess like it's a good fight for both of us, but I think he needs it more than I do. Not only that, but I don't want to look like a punk. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, we we signed a we signed an agreement to fight each other, and that's what we're gonna do. So I give you know, like I ain't gonna punk out. You know what I mean? Like we signed something. Um, I'm a man of my word, and that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna fight him. I'm gonna beat him, and then we're gonna move on from there. Because a lot of people, a lot of people think you know. I pulled out for, you know, other reasons, and, um, you know, I think that's bullshit, to be honest, you know, I, I fight anybody, no matter who it is, you know what I'm saying, and uh, that's what that's what I'm here to do, I'm here to make the good fights, I'm here to make the, the I'm here to make good fights, I'm here to fight my ass off, and it don't matter who you are, so. It's like you said, though, champ, don't, and, and never forget it, because it's only gonna get worse, but they always gonna talk shit to find something to talk about, you know, so, uh. Exactly. It don't matter what the you case is. You can't please is. everyone. Exactly. And, you know, that was the biggest thing. Uh, if I, if I would have lost, if I would have lost, you know, people and I came out sick, people would have been like, well, you know, he's lying, this and that. And, uh, you know, I, I don't got a loss on my record. You know, no, we lost a lot of money. We lost, you know, we lost like eight weeks of camp. But, you know, we could run it back. It's, there's always time to run it back. I'd rather... I'd rather not have a loss on my record, you know? I... For sure. No, nah, and at least you're willing to run it back. It ain't like you like, all right, no, nah, let me get another opponent or something like that. You're willing to step right into that fight. So I don't think anybody should have uh, an issue with it, and I don't think anybody should have, uh, you know, just the unfair criticism because, again, you're stepping right into that fight, and I think you'll be able to prove what you can and can't do on June 15th. Exactly. I appreciate that. I do want to double down. I heard what you said. I'm not acting like I can't, I didn't hear, but I just want to be clear. There was no offer for June 15th from any other for any other fighter. Nope, no any nobody else. Uh, cool. I didn't even get nobody else. It was only Kyron. No, and that's person. great. That's great because I just wanted to make sure that was a hundred percent clear because I want to now ask. How badly did you want the Kyron fight to be your June 15th? And did you see what he was insinuating? Because he certainly insinuated like there was some funny business and you pulled out. And, you know, I don't know. Did you see what he was doing on social media? Nah, I didn't see it. But um, people have told me about it. And, you know, that's making it a little bit more personal for me because I ain't, you know, I ain't scared of nobody, no matter who you are. You know, we, we show up to fight. You know what I'm saying? I'm from, you know, I'm from Arizona. Uh, you know, I'm a Garcia, and we ain't scared of nobody. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, June 15th, I'm going to make sure he gets what he wants. And, uh, in, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, he was the only person offered to me, and uh, I'm, I'm ready for this fight. Um, it's going to be a little bit more personal than last time. Beautiful. I got a bunch from the people. If you want to get anything in before I go to the people's questions. Uh I'm just curious. Obviously, you right up the road. Uh, you expecting a lot of people to drive up for the fight? Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest. I know a lot of people showed up last time, but uh, to be honest, I care less about that. You know, I'm just ready to, you know, make sure Kyron gets the best of me. Arguably, could be uh, one of, if not the pay per view of the year, when you got a guy like Tank headlining and and a guy like David Benavidez as the chief support of the night. Are, are you looking? Obviously, you said it got a bit personal. Are you looking to kind of make a statement and perhaps steal the show? Um, you know, I'm I'm not sure to be honest. I, I like I said, I, you know, I care less about that. I'm just I'm just real focused. You know what I mean? I want to make sure. You know. I want to make sure it's the best fight, you know, I'll ever have. For sure. Well, Nas, let's get to those uh, questions from the people. All right. First one is from uh, Benny, and he says, how long does, I guess he meant, how long do you plan to stay in the division, and what's the heaviest weight class you see yourself at? Um, you know, I've, I'm tw I just turned 21 years old. Um I make 160 pretty damn easy, to be honest, and uh, I'm, I'm a pretty big dude. A lot that has to do with it is, uh, you know, my nutritionist, and, you know, she she helps out a lot. But Give her a shout-out, bro. What's her name, man? You got young fighters out there might want to hire 
Uh, shout out to Heather, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I, I'll post her. I'll post her on my story. Ah, he's she's, thinking she's about my, it. That's your secret weapon, huh? She's my secret, bro. Exactly. <laughs> she's, secret. she's the reason why I make 160, and I'm making no problem, to be honest. And, uh, you know, the highest I see myself fighting at is probably, like, Maybe a catch weight at like 170 or something, you know what I mean? But for the most part, I think 168 would be the you know the highest I go. There's no need to go any higher than that. I feel like I could walk around at like 168 and make it pretty easy, you know what I mean? Mm. Uh, I got B-Lo. He says, I grew up in Aven Avondale. And went to Oh, Avondale and went to, went to Westview High School. I love to see something putting the West, oh, excuse me, someone putting the West Valley on the map. Keep it up, champ. Looking forward to following your career. Where can we buy your merch to support? Oh, hell yeah. Uh, you got ElijahGarcia.com. Or if you look on my Instagram, I post this guy, uh, Easy Prince. Uh, Easy Prince, you go on his website, and you'll see all my gear as well. So I'll post, I'll post Heather, and I'll post Easy Prince on my story after this. Appreciate it. We got Rally that says, my hometown of Arizona breeds some great fighters. Garcia is next up. Can't wait to see him fight again. Exciting style. So no question, just showing you love. Oh, yeah, I appreciate that. Uh, we got Sebas who says, Elijah, you a beast in the ring. How do you, how do you see yourself finishing Kyrone Davis? Um, I'm not sure, to be honest. You know, I feel like, all my fights, you know, I pretty much break them down, break them down, break them down. And then, you know, I just happen to catch him with one or two punches. And, uh, you know, I hurt him and then I finish him. So who knows? I feel like I'm just going to break him down slowly, slowly, and you'll start to see him fade. Yo, I'm asking this question blindly because I don't know uh, if there's any history there or any relationship, friendship. But given that you make the middleweight division fairly easy, could we ever see, you know, an Arizona uh, big fight between you and Hessels Ramos someday? Because I'm sure he'll move up to middleweight. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll see, man. You know what I mean? Uh, 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 he's a good guy. I know him personally. Uh, you know, we, we get a lot of work together. So okay. I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want disrespect him. You know what I mean? And, no, for uh, sure. That's why I said I was asking blindly because I, I didn't uh, know if uh, there was a relationship there or not. Yeah, I don't know. We're, we're, he's a really good person, and his family's really cool people. So, you know, that's something that's something way later down the road. You know what I mean? So we'll see. I know you're super young, but did you, like, ever, did it ever cross your mind that maybe you could meet Benavidez at 68? Or did you always believe by the time I get there, he's certainly going to be at 75? Because, look, on this card... He's already at 75, the way you're fighting at. Uh, to be honest, I never really thought, I mean, I never really thought about, I mean, they're from Arizona and stuff like that, so, you know, I wouldn't, I would want to fight him, but if I had to fight him, you know, I'd probably go to Junior first and then go to, you know, David, but um, we'll see, he's, to, he's, I think he makes 168 pretty easy, I'm not sure why he's fighting at 170, but uh, we'll see what happens, you know, that's another thing down the road. I like but, that, uh, man. I, I like that, that you don't want to fight people from your hometown. You know, there's no hatred or jealousy from you. That's pretty cool. Appreciate that. I got Rod in uh, L.A. He says, when victorious against Kyrone, do you believe you're ready for a fight with Carlos Adamas, or would you need another step-up match before challenging for a world title? Uh, Carlos is the WBC interim, and uh, I'm ranked, like, number seven. I mean... I'm only 21 years old, and, you know, Carlos is a beast. He's a dog, you know what I mean? And, you know, I'm humble enough to know that, you know, he, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'll take the fight, you know what I mean? I feel like I, I believe that I will win, but, you know, 100% that's going to be a hard fight. That's a very tough fight, you know, he's a beast. Um, I'm more looking towards Lara because, you know, I'm ranked number one WBA, and, uh, you know, Dan, I know Danny Garcia wants to fight Lara, but, you know, Danny Garcia has to go to me first if he wants to fight Lara because, I'm ranked number one WBA, and I've been, you know, fighting my ass off. You know, I've been hustling, trying to get that title shot for the WBA. So, um, you know, I'm more focused on that rather than, you know, Carlos for WBC. And it's not the full belt, you know. I mean, if they exactly. put the full belt, maybe that could uh, entice, entice you and right. your team. 
Uh, we got Flacco that says, no question, just a fan. Hope you're good, training hard. I know you'll get this W. Hell yeah, I appreciate that. Uh, next one is from Octo. Greetings, champ. How has it been raising your two kids while being a boxer at 20, 21 years old? Uh, you know, it's, it's it takes a team to be great. That's what I always say. People think boxing is a one-man sport, but it's not. Um, you know, my mom, she makes my food for me. My dad's my coach. My two brothers, look at that shit. Look at that shit. You know, my brothers help me out with my, you know, with my drilling and sparring and mitts and stuff like that. And my wife, you know, she plays a big factor. You know, she takes care of the kids. Um, she, you know, her and my mom do a lot for me. So, um, you know, during camp time, it's mostly about me uh, staying focused, training, and, uh, you know, keeping, keeping, you know, boxing a priority. For sure. We got Rue in the 504 that says, uh, New Orleans, how did you get into boxing? Uh, boxing was a f New Orleans. That's where, uh, I mean, I, I like uh, that Mexican old T right now, and that's where he's at. Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, I, I was I was always, like, into, like, you know, football. I like football and baseball a lot, but uh, boxing was, um, you know, in the family on both sides. You know, my dad fought, my grandpa fought, and my uncles fought, and my other grandpa fought, you know what I mean? So, you know, it was just in the blood, and uh, one day my dad just took me to the boxing gym, and I fell in love with it, never left. I got Abraham from El Paso, Texas. First off, shout out to Arizona, the hotbed of boxing talent and fucking heat waves. You and Jesus Ramos, the Benavidez family, y'all all fight the same way. Arizona treats you in the summer around noontime. Question. What's your mentality like going into the fight with Kyron Davis? A very tough opponent, also a common opponent with your Arizona brethren, David, and a common opponent with Darrell, two world-class fighters. Looking forward to this fight and many more. I see a very bright future ahead of you. Can't wait to see you hold that strap one day. Stay blessed, young man. Appreciate that. That means a lot. Um, you know, my mentality coming into this fight is... Uh, uh, I got to, you know, I feel like there's a lot of people that, you know, feel like I pulled out, you know, for other reasons. And, uh, you know, Kyron really wanted this fight. So I'm going to make sure he gets the fight he wanted. Um, that That's really what's at. You know, I'm coming, I'm coming full throttle, hundred percent, as hard as I could. And, uh, you know, I'm going to make, I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to make sure he gets what he wants. Toledo Trees in Ohio, if you were headlining a card with Charlo in Texas, who would you want on your undercard? Let's see. If I was going to fight Charlo, I'd want, you know, I would want a majority, you know, I'd put on a lot of Arizona fighters, you know. Uh, it's all about, you know, representing where you're from, representing your, you know, your people, and helping everybody out. Um, but... I wouldn't mind. I like Jesus Ramos, of course. Um, I like Jesus Ramos, Abel Ramos, uh, and then damn, you know, you'll give Abel a shot. Shout out to you. Uh, <laughs> there's, there's a kid. There's a kid right now. Uh, I train with his name Sebastian. I actually train at his gym. Uh, he he's on the come up. Uh, he's tough as hell. Uh, what I weight like, class? I like he fights at 147. He's he's you know he's a dog. He's a beast. He reminds me of myself, to be honest, and. I'm really excited. I'm really excited for him because you know once, once he gets the opportunity to fight in front of people or fight on TV, you know I, I know he's gonna blow up. You know, kind of like out of nowhere, kind of like how I did. You know what I mean? And uh, I'd like to give him the opportunity because he deserves it. He works his ass off. Salute, man. Sebastian. Um, Sebastian what? Sebastian Mitri. I'll post Mitri. him. Yeah, yeah. Everybody tag me. Tag follow. me with his uh with his social media or have George send me the social media. Let me refresh right. here, make sure we didn't get any last minutes. But that does look like who, they're all of them. Who you got uh, Saturday night? Uh, I'm going to go with Canelo just because, you know, just because I, I think he should be able to win it just because he has all that experience. But I'm not going to count out Mongia because, you know, Mongia did look, a, you know, he looks a lot better with Freddy in his corner. And uh, not only that, but, you know, Canelo's, I feel like Canelo's on the downfall. Um, 
He's had 60 fights. I mean, he's only 33 years old, but, you know, he had 60 weight cuts, 60, you know, training camps. And uh, I think it's just 64. too much. 64. It, it puts a lot of wear and tear on you. You know what I mean? So, um, I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if Mungia won because, you know, he's a lot younger and he's hungry. And, you know, he looked really good with Freddie in his corner. But I'm going to go with Canelo because I think he should win the fight. Elijah, give everybody your social media, man, and we appreciate you as always. Look forward to getting you back as the fight gets a little closer. We still got about a month out. I uh, appreciate it, guys. Um, I, sorry for my phone, bro. It's I live nah, it's all rant. good. It could be the so sun, be... too. It could be the sun, maybe. Nah, you got to see my phone, bro. You'd be tripping if you saw my phone. <laughs> 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 but, uh, nah, you know, follow me on, you know, Instagram, underscore, Elijah Garcia, underscore, I'm on Facebook at Elijah Garcia, and I'm on Twitter, Elijah602 Garcia. I appreciate you guys, and I'll make sure, you know, I post everybody in the in the stories and stuff like that. Yeah, tell Sebastian, uh, we want to get him on the show, man. We want that story, man. You you gave him the recommend, right, now I'm interested. Hey, man, Sebastian's a beast, bro. I remember he was like eight years old, running like six miles. He's, he's a beast, bro. Sebastian has the mentality of a dog, you know what I mean? And. You know, I feel like he's gonna follow my footsteps, and then, you know, he's gonna he's gonna blow up and you know win titles. That's what he's gonna do. He he deserves it. But sure, I appreciate, appreciate you. Guys. you. <laughs> All right, later. All right.